Hey Bear Factory community, my name is Jimmy Banish and I'm the COO here as well as one of the co-creators of our Vortex series stuffing machine line. In this video we're going to take some time to cover some tips and tricks that we recommend for our machines that's going to help cover some maintenance and care, frequently asked questions, as well as taking some time to show some of our favorite stuffing techniques. When getting started with your stuffing machine, it's really important to follow the first main setup rule that we have, which is putting your machine on a flat surface. Putting it on a flat surface is what allows airflow to come up inside of the machine and will actually prevent your machine from overheating. Let's say you go to a fair or an expo and you need to put your machine on grass or carpet. We do provide the car slip sheet that does come with your machine that you could very easily put on the ground to cover up the grass or carpet and then slide your machine on top to create a flat surface for the machine. Another tip that we have seeing as these machines are meant to be portable is we do receive a lot of questions about power outage and what these machines actually take to run them when you're off site at an expo or at a school. One recommendation that we do have is to not use a generator as generators have inconsistent electrical output and this will actually void your warranty. However, if you would like to take on that responsibility and use a generator to help provide power to your machine, it is highly recommended that you do purchase a high quality commercial surge protector, which will help protect the machine from any type of outputs that could actually destroy the interior circuit box that is on the machine. When it comes to operating the Bluetooth speaker that comes stock on the Vortex Pro machine, it is very simple. There is a power cord that is going to be charging your speaker at all times, so you don't need to worry about purchasing a power cord. And to turn on your unit, all you need to do is hold down the front play button for three seconds. After three seconds, you'll hear the chime that comes on. And at that point in time, you will need to go under your Bluetooth settings where you'll see the Musi Baby option to select to go ahead and pair your phone with the Bluetooth speaker. If at any point, you need to go ahead and turn off your speaker, follow the same process of holding down the play button for two seconds, where you'll hear another chime to indicate that the speaker is now off. The process of filling your machine with fiber is very important to the longevity and health of your machine. As you can see here, we've actually filled up the hopper halfway, so up to the spindles. We have pre-mulch fiber that has gone in the machine because we've ran it through a mulcher. However, if you are taking fiber straight from the box that has not been pre-mulched, please only fill it halfway on the hopper, and then you can go ahead and turn on the mulching apparatus where you'll need to allow the machine to process the fiber for up to 15 minutes. We do receive a lot of questions about how long you can actually run your machine with the fiber inside. These machines have been made to run on a consistent basis in a retail setting, however, what can happen is if you run your machine for hours on end without expelling the fiber inside of the hopper, is you can actually over mulch your fiber. This is where the fiber becomes very light and airy and separated and can actually become difficult for the fiber to be processed and shot out of the machine. If for whatever reason you do end up over mulching your fiber, a simple solution to go ahead and create some forced pressure to push the fiber down is to take some unmulched fiber and put it into the top of the machine. That will actually create downward pressure that will allow that over mulched fiber to come out of the machine as you stuff. Once you've put the unmulched fiber in the top of the hopper to weigh down the over mulched fiber, you can go ahead and start stuffing immediately as you do not need to wait the 15 minutes for that fiber to open up as you already have the opened up fiber in the bottom of the hopper. Now that we've covered some tips and tricks to get you started with your Vortex machine, let's talk about stuffing technique so that you can maximally optimize how quickly you're able to stuff an animal. As you get started on preparing to stuff your animal, we do recommend taking the enclosure system outside of the animal where you can actually take this and put it over the nozzle. This will keep it out of the way so you can start to easily maneuver throughout the animal as you're stuffing. With the Vortex machine being as powerful of a machine as it is, there is a lot of apprehension at times we found with customers when first operating with this machine. 
I definitely recommend taking some time to do some pre-stuffings before you go out into the field or host an event, just so you can start to perfect your technique and how you're gonna go about stuffing an animal. What we recommend is to use a tapping method on your foot pedal, which will actually allow you to build pressure in the machine and have a little bit of control on how quickly the fiber is being expelled out of your machine. Now that we have the enclosure system out, what we do recommend is putting this over the nozzle. I personally like to start with the feet of a plushie as I stuff, and we're gonna go ahead and use that tapping technique to start stuffing our animal. As you can see, I'm moving it back and forth slightly while doing that tap, which allows the, the animal to be stuffed very quickly, but then also with some control. Moving from leg to leg, to the back of the head. And continuing to tap as we fill the body. Please note that not every plushie does require the need to stuff the back of the head of a plushie. Um, so that is something I would check out and that does vary based off of style. And then leave it on for the plushie on the nozzle for a couple of extra seconds. You can actually hear the hopper decompress and then you can take off the animal and then you can go ahead and zip your enclosure, pull off the Velcro tab, Velcro it shut, nice and smooth and good to go. Now what's really important is to make sure that you remain active with the, with the stuffing. When you're stuffing, moving back and forth with your plush so that it allows fiber to continue to come out of the nozzle, holding that plushie there is actually going to cause back pressure on your machine. And what we've actually seen from some customers who are still getting used to operating their Vortex machine is that they'll hold the machine there, they'll keep their pedal pushed down and they'll actually create a clog. If you continue to keep your pedal down and the machine is not expelling any fiber, what's then happening is that this machine is pressurized to 36 PSI, it's not stuffing, and you run the risk of blowing out the blower. Now, this would not be covered under your warranty as this would be a operator error. What's great for you is that you're not gonna to need to worry about voiding your warranty because you're gonna be an expert after watching this video and taking the time to perfect your technique by stuffing some animals on your own. Something that can happen while you're stuffing your plushie is you can actually get a clog in the bottleneck of the nozzle. Clearing this out is very simple. Please make sure not to press down on the pedal and try to blow through the clog because that can actually create back pressure like we talked about and can damage the machine. So take your foot off the pedal, easily take your plushie off of the nozzle, just remove the nozzle. As you can kind of see, I have a clog here and all I'm gonna do is just push my finger in and when the machine uh, has the mulching apparatus engaged, you can actually feel the fiber be pulled out of this bottleneck that can sometimes happen. There's no moving components or anything like that. The only gears that are actually moving in the machine is the spindle, as you can see here. So going ahead, if you're comfortable, feel free to turn off the mulching apparatus to do it. It is a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient to have the mulching apparatus on to allow the clear, but there's definitely no risk of injury or harm by sticking your finger to remove that particular clog. And then once the clog has been removed, you can go ahead and take your nozzle and put it right back on and get back to stuffing. All of our Vortex stuffing machines are handmade and crafted here in the state of Michigan as these are built to last. So let's talk about some maintenance and care with your machine. What's great about both the Vortex Pro as well as the Vortex One machine is that maintenance and care is minimal, um, but there are a couple of things that we do like to recommend. First and foremost, over time and use, what you'll start to find just like a cotton candy machine is that fiber may start to build up on the inside spindle of the unit. Clearing this is very simple as all you need to do is turn the power off on the machine, go ahead and open up the latch and then reach your arm down inside and clear it. Reaching in there and just pulling it off with your hand 
is the most effective and efficient way. We definitely do not recommend using a knife or anything like that. You'll actually start to damage the paint finish on the spindle. So definitely just reaching inside and using your hand to pull it off. This is something that we would recommend depending on the amount of use that you're using it, but definitely doing it at least once a month if you are going on site to an event and you go ahead and process through uh, anywhere from 100 to 200 animals plus, you'll definitely start to see that build up. And that's where I would definitely recommend going ahead and just cleaning up the machine, which is gonna help you with the longevity of the spindle, as well as just keeping it look nice and presentable for your next event. When it comes to keeping your hopper nice and pristine, we only recommend using water on the glass along with a terry cloth as using something that's chemical based like Windex can actually start to create a fog haze over time. So only using water to spray on some glass and clearing it off is important. As for keeping the inside of the machine clean and free of debris, we recommend once or even twice a year depending on how mobile you are and how many animals you're going through. So let's say every six months, you're going to go ahead and lay your machine down. And as you can see here, there's actually notches inside of the bottom of the unit, which is what's used to pull the airflow inside of the machine. Go ahead and just take a nozzle with a shop vac. And if you see any type of fiber that's accumulated inside or any type of other debris, go ahead and just slide the nozzle inside of one of those holes so you can access and start to suck out any debris that's sitting inside of your machine. When it comes to storage of your unit, keeping it in a temperature controlled environment is very important as all of our units are made with FST certified reclaimed wood. So if you're leaving it out in a garage or somewhere that is not temperature controlled, this can actually cause the machine to shift a little bit because of the humidity can cause the wood to expand a little bit. Let's say you don't have any other choice but to store it in a garage, definitely keeping it in a dry place is really important. If you live in colder temperatures, I would most certainly recommend bringing it inside when there's any type of freezing temperatures as this can mess around with the components a little bit on the inside. But definitely keeping it a temperature controlled environment is ideal and this will also prevent the humidity of the contraction and expanding of the wood. Let's say you someday turn on your machine and start stuffing and you hear a whistling sound coming out of your hopper. This 99% of the time means that there actually has been a humidity change with your unit and it has shifted a little bit. I wouldn't worry too much about that whistling. Once the humidity changes and everything resettles after a couple of stuffings, that'll actually go away. Um, so that's nothing to be concerned about. Lastly, for whatever reason, if you need to go ahead and replace your nozzle, your foot pedal, you lose your keys or any other components like that, we do have a accessories page on our website where all of these added components can actually be purchased separately. So if you break your foot pedal or lose your key, don't worry about it, we have you covered. We can definitely supply you with some backup components to get you back up and running immediately. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn a little bit about our tips and tricks for the Vortex stuffing machines. If there's any questions that was not covered in this particular video, please feel free to reach out to us. We can be reached at thebearfactory.com or you can go ahead and email our Vortex support line at vortex at thebearfactory.com. Thank you so much, enjoy your machine, and we'll see you next time.